leave it. Watch the way the sand gets washed and cleaned and the water just, you know, easily flows in, easily flows out. There's not too much there of a barrier to stress out the, the, uh, uh, the movement of the tide. And, you know, of course the sand is kind of like piling up in there, so you're going to need general maintenance, daily maintenance every week or every day, depending on where the area is and what it is that you're cupping. Okay, it's this, 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 this thing is called a cuppet. So when you're cuppeting, whether you're cuppeting in the marshes or whether you're cuppeting at the ocean, you know, depending on where you are and what's coming in on the water, like in here, in this case, we've got a lot of seaweed coming in and seagrass. Uh, so, you know, of course, that's going to need to be cleaned out daily. But when you got like just normal uh, sand or something like that, you know, maybe, maybe it only needs once every two, three, four days or, you know, just going to need some maintenance. I'm gonna need some maintenance, but it's definitely working. I think this is working. I think this is a grand idea. You know, I really do. I used to play at the ocean when I was a kid. That's all I did all day long was play, play, play. So it's like a part of me. I understand it. It understands what 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 uh, what needs to be done in terms of we working with it and it working with us. So this this I think we can actually work with. You can see it doesn't put too much stress on the on the tide, but now my feet are getting wet. Hey, can so you I kind of want to get out of here. Mom, your dress is getting wet too. <laughs> and the tide's coming. Oh, I see. I see fog. You can see the fog it's coming wet. in. You can actually see the fog in here. There's fog. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And this little guy, he ain't moving because he's got that base on there. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the base? Where's the base? Where is it? I don't even see it. There's the little one. Where's the... Oh, there the it is. Top? Oh, it's I'm zoomed in. I'm zoomed out. You no, not yet. I'm okay. There we go. This is the little green one. See, the little green one is not even moving. Isn't that amazing? So it definitely needs to be wedged in, whether it's got the base on like that little green one does, and then rebar, you know, rebar in. Men can do amazing things. You know, they can make big, big, big things, and they can do amazing things, so... You know, just with a simple thought, they can turn it into something that can actually work. So here's here's the thought, okay? And you can see that Mother Nature likes it. She works with it. I'll go back on the rock and we'll show it one more time. Well, I'm half on, half off. Water's coming in dirty. I don't know why. why? Uh, I don't understand Canadian beaches, so I guess we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, let's just watch this for a while. This is a really good opportunity to see how a cuppet works with nature and how nature works with a cuppet. We've got these ones over here. And let's do the little green one. Do it this way. Here we go. No, I used to play at the beach all the time. I'm not cold. remember these things are huge so even in a hurricane if they're put in properly they're not gonna move because the water just bounces back off so unless it overflowed well that's okay that's okay because the sand will travel on the bottom so it's gonna do its job in the bottom and you have to remember these things are gonna be buried down like three four five six feet depending on where they are located and why you know there's different sizes and as we can see, we've got different sizes here, so all things work for a reason, right? All right. Oh. <laughs> it's my old bones it. more than anything else. Okay, do the feet now. I got wet feet. I got a little ocean water on my leg. Ocean water. It's ocean water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Mom. <laughs> Well, it's like I said, we ladies, we like to dress up when we can. There's nothing wrong with that, right? And, you know, fellas, they like to look at legs. So it's okay. It is so funny. <laughs> All right. So, what should we do with this? Hold on. Tisha, I can record now. Here, Tisha. Hey. You said I you will. would. I didn't see. I didn't see nothing. You said after you're done. Yeah, I will. You'll you'll break it. No, I won't. You guys get some samples and some stuff. I'm really sick and tired of Tisha's attitude. 
Well, don't worry about it right no, now. No, like seriously. Just go get some samples. Okay. Of the, the water. Just go get some samples because we're going to look underneath the microscope. Okay? So, and I want to leave pretty soon because now the fog's coming in. Look at this fog over there. Getting cold. Oh, it's getting very cold now. Now I can feel it. So go get some samples. Okay? I need water samples. Sand samples. I guess I can't stand on that thing, eh? That'd be kind of like precarious. Like yeah. You'll fall off. Oh wait, maybe if you stood on this. See? Yeah, no, I kind of want to go over there though. Right here. Right here. I want to do it from that side over there. No, I'm going to do it on the other side. <laughs> oh my god, this isn't a good idea. Why? I can already see you falling. Hey, look. Huh? And you're in a heel. Ooh, what do we got in there? There's crabs okay. and. You're not going to take them though. You're going to leave no, them here. No, okay. okay. I found. You'll make me fall. <laughs> well, that's not really what I wanted, but that's okay. We'll do it this way here. Where, where is it? Oh, I can't find them. <laughs> you do when you're feeling Where are they? Are those it? There they are. Okay, we're just going to stand on this little perch here and just watch the water before we have to grab our bowls and rescue them. And we won't be able to get those in my actual cooking bowls. <laughs> I need those back. Okay, we're gonna see the water. You see it's spitting back. It's, it's just, okay, I'm, I'm kind of like in a little spot here that if I fall, I'm right in the water and I don't particularly want that. So we're just gonna watch the tide and see how it interacts with the cuppet. Okay, let me just try and zoom a bit more. You can see how it spits its back out. It doesn't do no harm. It's like a natural cleansing. All the rocks are being moved around, you know, and whatever, whatever is gonna get on deeper into the ground will will go deep but it it won't go up it won't go up the beach and that's what's important and it will be easier to clean because it will be all collected into one spot versus having to dig around all over town for it right you've got to just go to your one spot and find it and uh, like I said depending on where where you put the cup and if it's in a marsh and you've got a lot of marsh grass coming in or you know seagrass coming in then yeah you'd have to probably clean that almost every day at some point, just so uh, it doesn't uh, get overflowed with uh, crud on top. Uh, but if it's just sand, I would suspect that, uh, I don't know, it may be, may, you know what, you might even, if it was sand and the sand was coming in and it was filling up in the cuppet, might be as simple as take a shovel and bring it up, the, you know, shovel it in. Probably be clean sand on top, dirty, clan, dirty sand on the bottom, and the clean sand you can just shovel, put it in a bucket, and carry it up the beach and dump it but it will be clean sand because the water will naturally clean it and that's the point all right so but we don't know until we try it so if i could go over to the next see this i'm kind of sitting on one of these things <laughs> that's what i'm sitting on i don't i don't want to walk and go sit on that where is it yeah that's what i'm on here you take the camera and you can take a picture and show them what i'm sitting on before i get off it come get the camera And then bring it back, because we're kind of watching these bowls here. As Don't drop it. Oh my God, you got really dirty hands. You can't. Just one hand. Just take, yeah, give it to Shemaine. I don't want sand on it. Do the leg. Camera, uh, I'm, it's just gonna record, okay? What? Recording, no picture. What are you talking about? Do you want a picture? No, or I just record? saw recording. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, mom. Oh yeah, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna get down. Actually, no, bring me back the camera so I can still take some more. Stuff. What? Yeah. No, don't. Exactly. Paige, come back, or Dallas, come back and bring me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now. I don't know.
maybe later, okay? Thanks. Okay, so we're just gonna go back on this. That's the best I can show you guys. What are you trying to do? Well, well I'm just showing them the theory. I'm not going on that one. That one's like about six feet away from me, and it's all full of water. Matter of fact, it's filling up on water on this side, so I'm gonna get stop this here in a minute. I'm just giving some time to show how the water spits back. So, okay, all right. So, I'm getting down. Cool. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna get to be a little bit of a chili bean. Ooh. Hey, here. You can just get down and take pictures. Uh, you know, you know, like video, right? But it's best if you get down first. Uh, it's one of my daughters. Here. Put my jacket on now. So I'm gonna take pictures now, no more recording? No, no, it's all video, don't take pictures. Just do video. Oh, I don't, can teacher, can teacher record? Right now my hands are freezing. You want me to put on your stomach again? What? My hands, you want, want to put my Okay, you want to bring up the purse? Okay, and we gotta get these bowls now. So, when we started, when we started, huh? Not now. When we started, there was no tide. Okay, maybe you can start gathering up everything. And we're gonna have to grab up these bowls here in a minute. Because, uh, like I said, they're kind of my cooking bowls, right? Well, we knew the little green guy wasn't gonna make it for very long, but it's just a small little piece of plastic. But, like I said, it was kind of godsend the way, just the way it was designed, so we'll start cleaning up anyway. And uh, I think, I think, you know, I think this was a great science experiment. I'm looking forward to seeing, the, oh look at that, that's amazing. Do you see that? Now you know it's probably water, that is, that's plain old water spitting right back into the ocean, it's spitting at itself. You know, look at that, there we go. That's why I wanted to leave it in the water, I wanted to show. I wanted to show what was going on with this. So, but at the bottom, where the sand is and where the rocks are, it's kind of washing itself on the surface. I don't know what's going on on the bottom. You wouldn't know that until on, until one day when the sand, like the water goes out, and you actually get a chance to get in there and maybe do some digging to find out what the cup it collected over a course of time. But for now, this is grand. I like this. This is good. You know, everybody's always saying, "What's the six hundred and forty-five thousand dollar question?" Or one million dollar question. Well, this is it. This is the answer. This is the answer. It's called kitchen bowls. <laughs> no, it's called the cupit. C U P P I T. And if you want to take it someplace else, take it out in the ocean, and when they're you know, busting their wells down deep in the ocean, you take the cup, you turn it upside down, you put it over the wellhead, and uh, you down it into the ground with some rebars and whatever else that men can invent. And then you can put a few bells in there and control the environment so it doesn't pollute everything. But for now, we'll just stick with the simple theory of collecting oil or coming in uh, coming in from the uh, from the um, sea. It's spitting back hard now, ain't it? 